have to make some sacrifices to win the seal. You do not win the seal without making some sacrifices. Are you willing to make those sacrifices? PSG, Paris Saint-Germain, Paris Saint-Germain, man. Um, you can't have your cake and eat it. And I think PSG have to realize and be very clear and concise as what do you want? Because you can't have both. And I think that's the mistake that PSG makes is that they want both. But you have to respect the, the Champions League. You have to respect the element of competition and you have to respect and be aware of how difficult a task you want to, to do. I support a PSG. See, many people are like, oh my gosh, PSG, these guys are just all money and so forth. You know, I hate them, blah, blah, blah. They, 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 they shouldn't be around. You know, they're just oil, oil money. Oil money. Hello, hello, hello. This is club football. It's, it's all about money. That's the name of the game. Money is the name of the game. Maybe you didn't get the memo, but the name of the game is money. The name of the game is how much money can we spend? Let me build my, my dreams, man. Let me say what, what, what's up. What's worse, what is worse, is you just have this exclusive club that nobody can get into. I support a PSG coming in and just ruffling feathers and being a new name amongst the big teams in Europe. But PSG, you have to make some sacrifices to win the CL. You do not win the CL without making some sacrifices. Are you willing to make those sacrifices? Let's be real. Because you can't have it both ways. So look, when PSG created this whole thing, you know, you know when they created the, the Avengers Initiative, you know, we had a plan, the Avengers Initiative. So, the, like the Avengers, you know, when, when, you know, your boy Nick, Nick, Nick Fury was saying what's up to um, Steve, Steve Rogers and um, homeboy Iron Man and um, those, those, those dudes, man. It's like the idea for um, this whole thing was we're going to create a super team, spend all this money on the, on the super team. And for us to really make a massive impact in Europe. And that's cool. That is cool. That is really cool. There is nothing wrong with that. But just pouring money into something isn't going to get you the correct results. Let's look back at the Galacticos. The, I, remember, the, they started this. Perez started this. That was, what, that was the whole idea. Perez was the first person to start this whole idea of, I want to create a super team that will completely dominate Europe. But the Galacticos did, yeah, they eventually won like a seal, also called in, in O2, but they did not dominate the way that people thought they did, they would. Because once people saw a team with like Figo, Roberto Carlos, um, Zidane, Ronaldo, they were everything. But they didn't. They didn't. And, and, and yeah, and also I think, yeah, because yeah, they won it before Ronaldo got there. Because remember, Ronaldo got there after the O2 World Cup. So, that O2 thing, that was the, the they won that before the O2 World Cup. But, but so the guys didn't really win the required trophies that people thought they would because the Champions League is, is difficult. Need I remind you? Since the Champions League be began, it took until 2017 for a team to defend that title, which means that there's been a difference winner every single year. And look at Bayern, you know, who many people thought, oh my gosh, these guys are going to do a back to back trebles. We saw what happened to them. So PSG, you can't have your cake and eat it, you can't have it both ways. You want to create, so you want to win the Champions League. Cool, that's no, that's that, that, that's a beautiful, amazing, noble cause. But you want to do it your way. What do I mean by that? You want to create a brand. This is Paris. This is one of the most um, beloved cities in the world. You want to create a group of superstars who are pampered, who are cradled. And who can help with promoting the brand? That's why you're partnering with Michael Jordan and so forth. You want PSG to be this whole brand. So you want the individuals and superstars to be pampered, but you also want them to win the Champions League. Both of those things don't, don't mix. They don't mix. 
Take example for a Cristiano Ronaldo. He's a superstar. He's a superstar. I mean, look at how many followers he's got on Instagram. But despite him being a superstar and being one of the most popular sports figures in the world, he works hard. He works hard. He puts in the work. He really puts in the work. And he knew and he knows that to win this Champions League, I have got to work hard. Yeah, I can do all the sponsorships afterwards. I can do all the underwear model things afterwards. But when it comes to this pitch thing, this referee blowing his whistle thing, this quarterfinal, semifinal thing, still final thing. No, 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 no. This, this is ego and all that kind of stuff doesn't come. It's not about football and really digging deep and understanding how to work this whole football thing. You can't allow your supporters like Enema, Mbappe, specifically Enema, to do whatever the hell they, 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 they want and to have an ego and not give a manager carte blanche. Superstars can't just by themselves lead um, a team to victory by themselves. No, that doesn't ha ha happen. It comes from the top. It comes from the manager instilling discipline, a specific idea for them to say, what's up? You can't have a kick in it, you can't have it both ways. You can't create a holiday camp for your superstars and expect them to win the Champions League. It doesn't gonna happen. And they keep getting reminded of, 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 of this all the time, you know? Because when you looked at that buying a PSG thing, people would view it as, oh, it was close, it could have gone either way. But you could also view it as they were never gonna beat Bayern Munich. No matter how many chances they had and everything, they were never gonna beat them. See, that's, I read between the lines, I look beyond there, say, no, 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 it wasn't really a close game, it was, the footballing world, the footballing ether saying to PSG that no matter how hard you try, unless you change your mindset and psychology of how this club is run, unless you give managers full powers with regards to how to manage this team, you will never win this competition because this, this competition requires discipline, requires focus and, re and requires obedience that comes from the manager. Okay? Barca didn't win those trophies without listening to what Pep said. Real didn't win those three seals in a row without listening to what Z Z Zidane said. And so forth. Milan, Ancelotti, um, Inter Milan, FC Porto, Mourinho, um, Bayern Munich, Heinkes. They listened to them. So, and that's just not how it's, you can't come in with an ego, with your swagger and this and, and, and that, you know, being all cool and think you can win a Champions League. You can win a Uber Eats, for, for sure. You can. But a Champions League, no. This, <laughs> this is the highest form of competition in club football. This is the most difficult competition to win in club football. This is the very, very best. And everybody wants to win this. Everybody wants to win this competition. So you don't have any divine right to win it because you're PSG, because you've got Neymar, because you've got all these dudes. So... Because see, PSG's mistake is they want to have it both ways. They want to run the club in their own way, which protects the superstar. And they also want to win this trophy. But as I've always said that, now nothing is guaranteed. Nothing is, is guaranteed. But it is more likely PSG win the Champions League if they hire a manager who he's got full carte blanche. If Neymar doesn't listen to his instructions or, or what he wants, he gets sobbed off. Where the manager is king. Look at look how football now exists now. Football is telling us that this is the era of the manager. This is the era of where Hansi Flick, what do you want me to do? Pep, what do you want me to do? Mourinho, what do you want me, want, want me to do? Klopp. This is the era of the manager and more times than not, and we've seen this so many times, more times than, than not, the Manager and the system defeats the individual, the individuals. Look at Chelsea against Real Madrid. That's, and, and even Mount even said it. Mount was like, oh, Cruz says he doesn't lose people over any individuals. Mount said, no, 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 we're not individuals, we're, but we're an amazing team. So the team beat the individuals. Oh, Cruz, Modric, Benzema, these are, these are stars. You know, Chelsea don't have any superstars to the degree of a Benzema, a Modric, a Cruz. 
but they have a team and a system cultivated by Tuchel, and that is what defeated Real Madrid convincingly. Convincingly. Yeah, Man City have big guys and so but City's main superstar is Pep, and Pep Guardiola's system, the team, the team ethos, the team idea, defeated the individuals. Who thought that through our individuals will win? And Pierce, and that will always be Pierce's mistake, and it's as if they don't want to accept that. Pierce are like, no, we must win via our superstars because this works for our brand and the narrative we want to put forth. You keep trying to prove that narrative, I guarantee you, you will never win this trophy. You will never win this trophy. The only chance, again, nothing's going to the only chance you have is you've got to operate like how Bayern operates. City operates, Chelsea operates, um, all these other guys operate where the manager is king. The manager is king. And yeah, people have freedom to a degree, but the manager is king. Rijkaard gave Ronaldinho freedom to a degree, but Dinho knew that Rijkaard is king. That yes, I've got his freedom, but I'm still working within the blueprint that was cultivated by Rijkaard. PSG, there is no blueprint there. And every manager that, that comes in has got to acquiesce to Neymar. What is the first thing that Tuchel said in his first press conference? That, you know, Neymar is a great player and I, I'm sure I'll be able to get the best out of him. I'm sure Pochettino is doing the same thing. Where he's like, no, 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 no. When the manager comes, I don't want to hear anything about you need to do something for Neymar. I want to hear what, how are you the manager? Forget about how you want to get the best of the individual. How are you the manager going to create a system for this team to succeed? Because what football is telling us time and time again, the system is king. It's no longer the, the days of El Phenomeno Ronaldo, the Del Piero, or George Weah, where you have, you have that superstar, they'll just beat you. So, 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 it's, 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 it's just no, no, it's, it's, it's not it. What, in a, like, tactics have evolved so much to such a degree that, and because tactics have evolved, and we don't have as many individuals as we had back in the day, or we don't have as many individuals with the kind of alpha mentality as we had back in the day, you simply must follow the system team ethos where I repeat the manager is king. So PSG, I ask again. You, so I say again, you can't have it both ways. And I ask again, what do you want more? To create the holiday camp and for your superstars to be king? Or do you want to win the Champions League? You can't have both. You've got to choose. And I think you're, you're keeping on ma making one specific choice, which means you keep on losing the Champions League. So you shouldn't be shocked that you keep on losing. Because the team that I see there is, there's no discipline there. You have something good with Tuchel. And Tuchel, he did come close. And they could have done it. With Pochettino, you've regressed. This is a reg regression. But even with Tuchel, I still said, no, this team needs a disciplinarian. Somebody that's they have to listen to him. They have to adhere to his instructions. And if that happens, then maybe this team um, has the ability to say what's up. Because unless you have that, sorry, bro. <laughs> sorry, bro. It, it ain't gonna work, man. It ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. So it's just, it's like, I'm keeping it real with, with you. You'll keep on trying and trying and trying. We get, we get close, but Every time you now face a real team, you get pimped. You, you, you get pimped. So I don't know what the future is for this PSG project, you know, um, because it seems like Groundhog Day. And it just seems because, because you see right now, the key thing about that loss was there is no more the notion of, oh, no, no, as long as you have Neymar. Like every time Neymar's been on the pitch, we've, we've reached the, the final. The only time that we've gotten knocked out before the final, Neymar was not on the pitch. Now that's gone now. So now, where do you go? Do you still believe in that? Oh, we have Neymar. No, because I have, to, I have to keep on reiterating this. Neymar and Mbappe aren't peak Ronaldo, Rivaldo, Ronaldo, Daniel. Because in, in Otsu, you have those guys you win. But they even... Because oh, I'm going to say, 2006, people thought, my gosh, this team is so good. But look at what happened. Football has taught us so many times that more times than not, more times than not, the better team that has a clear strategy defeats the individuals. You know, remember France in 2010, where Ribri was taking the team talk ahead of Dom Dominic, and they thought that as individuals they could say, what's up? Mexico beat their ass, you know? So again, I ask PSG, what do you want more? 
to create the PSG brand and maintain the PSG brand or to win the Champions League. You cannot have both. Like the vid, subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.